Good morning, everybody. Well, trying to get back to a little bit of normalcy here with this little guy and get him on a good walk. My God, colors really popping today in this uh, weather. It is still dreary. <laughs> and all my main trees have lost their leaves. But if you look back there in the background, you can see the yellow. That tree has finally turned over. Yesterday, I just was not in the mood to film it in the rain. Not much left of it already, though. <laughs> It went quick. Oh, well, right now, I, overnight, what I've been doing is switching over back to the uh, Series 5 and wearing that to bed so I get a good, uh, get my night tracking in. And since the battery has only dropped to like 13%, uh, I just left it on. So today will be the 5, tonight and tomorrow will be the 6. Uh, we'll see if there's, you know, I don't, I don't know. I really don't see that much of a difference. Alright, so I'm just editing the video and I've switched my watches back real quick. And uh, amazingly enough, as soon as I put this Apple Watch on, because I have them both connected to the iPhone, it brought all my health data over to the one that I didn't even wear all day. It brought it all over to the 6. So I just wanted to mention that uh, real quick before I uh, forgot. But uh, other than the color, <laughs> well, that's just blowing out something through its back there. Oh man. So, yeah, I found some new channels to watch about, uh, it was a photographer's take on the uh, iPhone 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max cameras. <laughs> he actually had me in laughing at him by his reaction. Whether they were legit or if it was just an act, I don't know. And I'd have to look at the channel name again, sorry. But uh, it's basically a photographer's reaction to the iPhone 12 Pro. Um, or iPhone 12, I think, but, you know really the ones he's the most concerned as a photographer you know he's most concerned about these cameras that they're not going to need you know professional photographers too much longer because almost anybody will be able to uh, take the photos without even you know trying that hard or a photographer because you know there's certain things that a photographer does that can't be replaced by the camera itself you know their their ideas for a shot and but it's coming a lot easier for just, you know, the average user to get a photo that is just good enough, you know, to not spend the, uh, the kind of money on a photographer. Of course, you spend it on a phone instead. <laughs> but then he was comparing the one lens. I think, which one was it? It was the, the ultra-wide lens. The closest lens he could find that would fit his Canon, it was a $2,200 lens, and it was a 16 millimeter. 2.8 where the iPhone 12's lens ultra wide is a 13 millimeter 2.4. When you think about that for a second, granted, I think you're probably talking bigger than a one inch sensor on a DSLR, and that's where the professional cameras will kick its ass. But camera phones are getting, cameras on phones are getting ridiculously better by the I, I, I that's the one I want to compare to is the ultra wide from the 11 to the 12 Pro Max because right now you lose a lot of detail in the ultra wide I think in especially lower light situations so there's the ultra wide in daylight just want to stop for a second well, you can still see the leaves and stuff but when you get into carpet and stuff it just kind of like blurs it together but good lighting well not great lighting but better than indoor okay I have a question am I the only one that sees something like this and wants to go over there and kick those leaves out of the way and make this puddle run faster you want to go do it for me bud huh you want to kick those leaves out of the way so it runs unfortunately I've got my Nikes back on they dried again and I don't feel like getting soaked feet ready <laughs> If I found a sticker around here, I'd clear that sucker out. <laughs> Yummy. Skunk got hit somewhere. It's close. Oof. First I thought someone was smoking a joint. That's, that's, that's definitely a skunk. <laughs> I'm trying not to stay in the wet grass. Mateo, he can do whatever he wants. But I don't want soaked shoes right now. Because I really don't want to have to use my new shoes. I don't have to. It's like a light little drizzle right now. It's kind of a... That's not bad. It's manageable. So, when I completed the challenge for this October, 
of uh, 2890 uh, active minutes. I mentioned that I was going to continue to manually, you know, track it the rest of the way. As at the end of yesterday, I have 3,458 active minutes for the month. So, I didn't do the math on how many minutes above that is. So, we'll just say 29. So, that's what, 558? 568 total? Yeah. Math in my head. Oh. I'm going to be so screwed next November. <laughs> or next October. Oh, well. Oh, pretty little tree. Last year, that was like one of my staples in the vlogs to keep track of. And this year, he was green, green, green. Still has green on him. But the yellow is finally coming through and he's shedding. Little man. What? Give me a look like that. Huh? What are you looking at me like that for, buddy? You feeling better, Mateo? You feel better? Yeah. Oh, he feels so much better. Oh, poor little dope. Just so happy surgery was not required. So all of a sudden starting, I don't know, yesterday, maybe the day before, every time I lock my iPhone, it pops up um, that I have an update in iOS 14 when there's no update. That is a glitch I think they had a couple times ago on iOS 13. But uh, <laughs> it's a little annoying because you always have to hit close. I keep checking to make sure. I even restarted the phone thinking maybe it might clear that out. It hasn't. So it's a glitch in the beta. Oh well. They'll fix it, I'm sure, here soon. <laughs> Let's hope. Because, yeah, like I said, it's slightly annoying, but. Depending on what you're doing, it can be super annoying. Ooh, this tree here still has its leaves. Surprise, surprise. Let's keep an eye on him. Because that one time I actually had this tree raining leaves. It was looked so pretty. Oh, I'm back on 30 frames per second. I can zoom all the way out. Alright. Part way around. Finally got her moving a little bit here. She didn't even want to play in the wet grass today. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Oh, you know it's soaking wet when she doesn't want to play in it. Of course, it is like 46 degrees too, so it's got to be cold in her putties. Well, so far, no snow, so maybe that's this evening. I don't know, but <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes out for it because I want to catch that on film if it happens, obviously. Shopping. Hope you find coffee. I'm being watched. Drink a big German Shepherd. <laughs> He's a baby. He's a baby face. <laughs> All right, Sam's Club done. I don't even know what that bill was. It wasn't too bad because we just grabbed a couple little things that we didn't get last time. Even though rice is one I asked about, but then I made rice and that used a lot up. So. Mm, tooth doesn't hurt tooth doesn't hurt but it's got a very very sharp edge point that keeps killing my tongue uh, surplus though that got me oh my that, that bill was <laughs> they had it wasn't deer park it was the other one polar springs water 29 cents a bottle i grabbed 47 bottles so i saved myself 24 bottles was like six something. It's 850 over at Sam's, so I just grabbed every flavor I'd like. I left the orange ones behind. So I'm good on water for a while. And then we got, you know, coffee. I think I got like 25 boxes of my dark rose coffee. That was the end of that. And a couple boxes of Dunkin' Donuts hot chocolate. Ooh, my walkie's still on from last night. Cool, battery's dying. <laughs> Here we go. Bleep, 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 bleep. What is that, Mateo? All right. Last members of the bird families. Yep, not gonna be able to see you real well. <laughs> Only out of focus. You get down. Hey, get down. You leave them alone. They haven't been a fascination for a long time for you now. Don't start again. 
All right, we're on a walk, little man. Yes, we are. Not going very fast, though. <laughs> He's too busy uh, sniffing and uh, you know, marking his territory and being Mateo. You know, He's pretty much back to normal, I think. Need a little twerp. <laughs> All right, Sam's Club done. Surplus outlet done. Terry made his grilled cheese sandwiches with tomato. Oh, that's really good. Unfortunately, the acid in the tomato hit that sore in my tongue. That hurt. You watching us, bottom man? Huh? Because he was chasing him. He was hopping around. I couldn't get the camera out quick enough. Boy, dude, you look really good in those leaves. Mateo. Mateo. <whistles> eh, I might be able to get a picture from that. All right, little dude. You be good. Take it easy. Stay out of the road. Okay? Stay out of the road. Don't get hit. <laughs> He's way more energetic. He's actually running. Could be because the grass is wet. But now he's high stepping. <laughs> Don't you beat anything there, boy. All right, I switch back over to 60 frames per second for this little one. Because she is happy. Oh, happy girl. Are you happy girl? Hey, it's Friday now. Can't be in the road. <laughs> Keep forgetting that. I'm very confused what day of the week it is right now. Uh, yeah, so. Obviously, my schedule was incorrect for these next two weeks. Like, I wasn't scheduled for next, for the one week at all. And then uh, this week was just totally a disaster. So now tomorrow, I am 6 to 3.30. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. Whatever. Um, and then I have a, I'm off Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, I'm a 1 to 10. And then the rest of the week, I am 11 to 8. I have another 1 to 10 on the following week. And then I'm back to 11 8s again. So I only have two 1 to 10s in the 10 days schedule. Come on. <laughs> in the day Mateo was in the hospital, I found out that Tasha had passed away that Saturday we were away. She had not been feeling real well a couple days prior and basically just dropped in the living room. Poor girl. I hate seeing, hearing when people lose their animals. It's sad. You just don't get enough time with them. Okay, so we have a regular pack of hot chocolate. We have the Dunkin' Donuts K-Cup hot chocolate and pumpkin spice marshmallows. Mm. It's super chocolatey and delicious, and it's the perfect weather for it. It started raining on us again on the walk. All right, it is time to start getting the vacuum out and get the disaster cleaned up, get all the floors done, and then start redoing this room. So bedroom, this room, floors, and then get into the hard stuff. <sighs> I have a little more energy from taking my walks. So what am I at anyway? 80 minutes. Yes. Yesterday I ended up with like 53. <laughs> so doing good today. Yeah. Well, that was an experience, wasn't it, baby girl? Come on, you're fine. He's back with his owner. Come on, you can do it. Come on, let's go play in the grass. Let's do it. So we come across, first the only other tenants had their dog out. And uh, so we avoid, we get to the corner and one of the people on the end, he's walking his dog like he normally does. He crosses the street over by the puppy area, the dog area. And uh, Next thing, Priya, so Priya and I go straight. We're just going to take a short lap. All of a sudden, the dog comes flying across the street, right down the center of the parking lot, and just takes off. So we turn around and go the other way to avoid, and the dog found us. And Priya, so I didn't try to do anything to her. Priya just freaked the hell out. I mean, she would not stop howling. She was just kicking and, like, going after him. Did not like him at all. So, whew. Well, we knew where the, everybody found out where the dog was at because Priya was going crazy. <laughs> That's the only plus in the whole situation, but, and the dog has been hopefully captured. 
I think his collar broke. I don't really know. That was just bizarre how all of a sudden the dog just came, just took off from him and he had him on the leash. So. Okay, enough excitement. You know, floors are clean. I'm going to make dinner after I take them out for what was supposed to be an uneventful walk. Come on, Priya. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You're not going with them. You're not going with somebody else now. You don't like other people, remember? I really can see the, the lighting changing on this thing. <sighs> Paranoid now. She just is so scared. She's looking behind her constantly. Every little noise. Poor thing. I mean, she was not being friendly in any way, shape, or form. She didn't want nothing to do with that dog. Except maybe to have it for dinner. In other news, we finally have clearing skies. The sun actually came out for a few minutes. And is now going down. All I can hope is this walk is a lot more uh, normal. I just took her for a half lap after we got done because she was just freaking out. Come on, little man, let's go. Come on, pan something and let's move. Alrighty, guys, well, I'm going to call it a night. Got to get to bed early. It's 10 10 already. I got to get up at 4 45 tomorrow morning because I got to go to work at 6 now. Yay! Alright, I will see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Good night. She's going in there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God.